Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day where Nikasne complete the sign of Alexander Isaac from Real Sociedad. Today he comes up from Spain to do his medical and just like that, this sort of just news that came out of nowhere yesterday is now a reality. He will complete his move to Newcastle and this is a key mega signing. Just under £60 million or so, this is Newcastle's biggest sign in their club history in terms of club value on a player. This will be a player this season you'll want to watch in the Premier League. You, people are just going to keep their eye on him because this is going to be someone that is ever going to make or break our season essentially. I think he will make it. I think he's a phenomenal player. I think he's going to go as the way he plays. I mean, like to say, Max will just bombing on the sides for me. I think he should have a field day at Newcastle. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. But anyway, guys, if you are new around here, make sure to get down there, hit that subscribe button. There will be an Alexander Isaac medical vlog on the channel today. Now, the reason why I'm kind of doing the video now is because, as you can see behind me, I'm still in my hotel room in Liverpool. So, I came down for the Tramia game yesterday, and I'm still down here. So... By the time I get back in Newcastle, I honestly think I will miss him when he goes in for his medical at the training ground. But he has to do quite a lot of things in one day. He has to go to St James's Park, but he has to do all sorts. So I'm pretty sure we'll get at least some footage of him on the channel, but I will miss him at the training ground. I'm, if I was a betting man, I think he'd be there for one-ish, and I'm not going to get back until about two. So, yeah, I think I will miss him at the training ground. But listen, I'll be back at some point. I, I trust me. I've still got a vlog planned anyway, so there will be some content on the channel today regarding Isaac, so don't you worry. But yeah, uh, that's it for me guys, without further ado, let's get into the transfer news. Now, something I said in my video a couple of days ago is that I still expect a goalkeeper to leave Newcastle out of this window. And well, it looks like we know who it's going to be now, Martin Tabraka, so he was not in the Tramia squad at all yesterday. Carl Darlow started and Mark Gillespie was on the bench. And as a result, uh, the likes of Keith Downey came out saying that Manchester United are interested in signing Martin to Brecker. And a lot more information came out this morning that it's going to be a loan move for the player. And I've seen a lot of Newcastle fans come out and say, well, why would Martin to Brecker do this? It's a bad move for the player. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here and I'm going to say it's actually a good move for the player. Now, it's important for him to get loan time because... He's not our first choice goalkeeper anymore and he's at that age in his career where he's kind of got one more big move left in him. So I can't blame the goalkeeper for wanting to go elsewhere because, well, he deserves first team football. He's a brilliant goalkeeper. It's just we got Nick Pope and I think he's better. So that's the problem we got with Martin De Braca. He's never going to get in the squad. Now, the difference between Manchester United and Newcastle United is that Manchester United have European football. He's guaranteed more game time at Manchester United instead of United, as in us. So yeah, I understand why he wants to move and the thing with David De Gea as well is that he's had quite a shoddy start of the season so it's actually possible for him to break it to over four to Gea and get the first choice position at Manchester. So yeah, I can understand the goalkeeper doing that and again, it's a long move. It's not like we're losing the player forever. So for me, I actually agree with the move. I think it's good for De Gea. It's important for him to get first team football and well for Newcastle. I've got no problems with it. As I said before, I'm very happy with Nick Port. He's had an amazing start so far. So yeah, uh, best luck to Bradgar. I don't know if we'll ever see him again at Newcastle. If this is the end for him, then thank you for your services. But yeah, honestly for me, I don't mind at all. I actually think it's a good move for the player. Let's talk about Bruno's best mate again. Now, I actually don't think Newcastle will even go for Lucas Paqueta. But I'm just going to tell people now just for the sake of letting people know. Because I know a lot of people are still eager about Paqueta. But West Ham have had their 40 million euro bid for him rejected, so they had to go back in for a second bid now. So Leon are not playing second fellow at all. They want big money for Paqueta. They know how important he is to him. And the fact there's going to be all our clubs, I would imagine now that will be interested in signing the main man. So yeah, uh, the reason why I don't think Newcastle would get him is because, well, listen, we've just spent 60 million pounds in a striker from Leon. We've still got an active deal with Joel Pedro, which I don't think is dead. I think we will still try and get him. I don't know now though if they'll sort of take a little step back. But yeah, um, I don't think he's dead. Obviously we've got loan players so we're trying to get him. I just think it's bad time for us. I would have looked to see him at Newcastle, but I don't think the club's gonna go on for him because we would have done it already. It just it feels like, you know, it's just what is the what is the club doing? It doesn't seem like they're actually interested in getting him. So yeah, I don't think Newcastle would get him, but the transfer is still active. West Ham had their first bid reject. We've got to go back in for a second time now. And now Finally, let's talk about the man we are all here for, 
Alexandra Isak, the main man from Sweden. Oh, I am excited for the sign today. Oh, it's, it's like Christmas Day. I can't wait to get back in Newcastle and see him firsthand. So, yeah, a uh, huge sign this one. He's, he's one of those sort of trip yard, the Bruno's, the Botman's, the mega catalyst signings, the ones that are game changers. The sort of players that come in and you just crap yourself because they know they're going to do something on the pitch. We've needed that. I know Chris Wood scored yesterday, but still, um, I'm, I'm not keen on to be honest. Um, I think the full team yesterday just had an off day. Well, the main part is we went through and we've got Crystal Palace at home next. Not a great tie, I'll be honest. Uh, it's still a winnable tie for sure, but in the third one of the Carabao Cup, I was hoping for some lower league opposition. But yeah, uh, we got the job done yesterday, but we are still lacking squad depth-wise. It was not pleasant to watch at all yesterday. So yeah, it's great to see the club still bring more players in. I don't think we are done after this sign. I'm pretty confident we will still bring more in. We haven't made any loan signings yet. I think a loan sign is almost a guarantee. I can't see where the club wouldn't make use of the loan market. It just makes logical sense. And especially with the, the Chelsea boys as well, I'm sure there's somebody there we'd love to take. So yeah, uh, back on topic now. So the player today is travelling up to Tyneside on his flight from Spain. Dan Asher and Steve Nixon were both in Spain yesterday getting all the player stuff done. He's now coming up to Newcastle today. It still hasn't completed all these player terms. That part of the video yesterday was incorrect. He still hasn't done these player terms yet. But that's going to get completed. He wouldn't come up to Newcastle if he's not going to complete his player terms. So that gets sorted. He'll do his medical. He'll do everything today. Now the club will rush this sign because they want him playing against Wolves on Sunday. And he has to be registered in the squad by midday on Friday. And so essentially he has to get everything done today or early tomorrow. So yeah, the club will rush for everything today, he'll get everything done and he'll be wearing black and white on Sunday. I don't know if he's going to start, but I think he will get game time against Wolves. So that is now a, a pretty big game because Isaac's going to make his debut. So yeah, a uh, big one this one. Uh, this is a player that I feel like is going to get double figures. He's somebody that I feel like is just going to be a game changer. And hopefully he doesn't get injured, I'm pretty sure he won't. So that's his stats on the screen there at the hour Dad. I know he had a bit of a an off season last year but he had an incredible time at the Euros and the stats in the, the seasons prior is extremely impressive so I think we are getting our money's worth it's a lot of money don't get me wrong but if he pays off then we'll make our money back and he's going to be a huge player that potentially pushes towards European football I think the target of the club this season is to get top 8 I'm not saying we are going to get it but I think the owners will actually want us to get top 8 I think the sooner we get European football, the more important it is for the club because that's a huge incentive to get players in. And it also helps commercially because we'll make more money from, from, I mean, from Europe itself. So, yeah, uh, huge times are ahead for Newcastle. Ambitious times are ahead for Newcastle. And I tell you what, we should enjoy every second of it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll be back on the channel later on today. There will be an Alexandra Isaac vlog on the channel. Not sure which vlog it's going to be yet. It depends what's going on when I get back in Newcastle. So, yeah. Uh, listen, guys. If you're around today, make sure to come see me at St. James's Park. And, yeah. I'll see you all later on today. But, yes. Get in there.